Brand new from Walks On and Better Safe Radio is a second model. The second one we're talking about this week called the KG UV9 Delta X ray. This one's got some really cool features to it, and it's a little bit lower price point because it's a 5 watt radio rather than a 7 watt radio. Check it out right now. So, right here, we've got the page for the UV9 Delta X ray starting at $159. This is a pre tariff price. Limited stock and initial stock due to the tariff situation. This has been in the works for some time, and he was able to get them at this price before all this tariff stuff started coming down. And you know, that stuff keeps turning off and on anyway, so I don't even know. It does have a superior super heterodyne receiver. So, a lot of you guys are always talking about how you don't like the direct conversion receivers, you don't like you wish everything was super heterodyne, and super heterodyne is technically better. Although, in an HT, I don't think it makes that big of a difference. This does have a super het receiver. Multiband scanner, two-way amateur radio, both two meters and 70 centimeters, plus his over 900 channel code plug that he puts in all of his radios. You can always save a 7% discount on this price and everything else, most everything else, at bettersaferadio.com with the coupon code of HR2 all seven. I'll put a link to this model and to that coupon code in the, the description below. So go check that out. And special shout out to Mark for allowing me to debut this radio early take a first look at it because this radio is literally launching this week so this is brand new this is the one that i did yesterday this is the uh, uv9 papa x-ray plus series right here i'm going to put these side by side here in a minute this is the box this is a white box for the uv9 delta x-ray open this up and see what is inside of here some key features about this radio is it does have the same sort of 5x display output which is two times at least two times brighter in the sunlight than previous models. It does also have a USB-C battery and the USB-C to C adapter that's not the USB-A adapter. There's a manual right there. Sticker, I like these stickers. I'm gonna keep that sticker right there. Got this braided cable similar to the Papa X-Ray Plus that we saw yesterday. So that's pretty cool right there. Got this wall wart in here that's USB-C output, not USB-A. So you never have to worry about USB-A with this radio at all. This radio replaces the UV9D Plus radios. It's built on the same trusted platform as the previous UV9 Papa, UV9 Papa X-Ray, and UV9D Mate. I still carry my UV9D Mate. The biggest thing I like about that one is it's a true 10 watts, and it's, uh, it's orange. I really like the orange color. So be cool if these came in different colors, but they're just black for now. You can see that right there. It's got the USB-C battery right there at the bottom of the battery. You can charge this battery. This battery will fit on any of the UV9 series radios. So UV9 Tango, UV9 Kilo, UV9 Delta, UV9 Papa, UV9 Papa X-Ray, etc., etc., all the other ones. He sells these batteries individually on the website as well. So you can go check that out, and you can replace your old non-USB-C charging battery with a new one. Get some new battery juice life in your radio and get USB-C charging at the same time. So that's pretty cool. This radio also has a single receiver mode which makes it easy to use as any other radio just great for hams on backup spare radio for those that just don't need the extra power this is launching at forty dollars less than the original uv9 papa radio i'm sorry the uv9 delta radio forty dollars less than the uv9 delta radio so 159 is the price on the website at the time of this recording and don't forget about the coupon code that you can save an additional seven percent as well so there's the screen, very similar to the UV9 PX Plus that we reviewed yesterday. In fact, you can't really tell them. I can't even really tell them apart. The model number is right here on the radio. This is UV9 Delta X-Ray, and this is UV9 PX Plus right here. This one's advertised as having a single receiver mode, so I don't know if that means that it's not full duplex. One of the things about the UV9 radios from Waxon is most of them are full duplex, so you satellite guys should really like that because you can transmit on one band and receive on the other band at the same time, so you can essentially hear yourself transmitting into a satellite when you're, when you're working the satellite. Hear yourself on the downlink. But this one's advertised as a single, a single band receiver. Well, it, it advertised that as a capability. I'm going to I'm gonna have to get some clarification on that, because the notes that Mark gave me say, using in single receiver mode makes it easy to use as any other radio. I mean, that's, that's kind of like how all of the walks on radios work, in my opinion. Every walks on radio pretty much has four 
memory modes. Well, well, one VFO and three memory modes. So what we do is this VM button right here. We'll hold this down. So we're in we're in uh, memory channel name mode right now. We'll hold this down. It'll change to the frequency. And that's in VFO mode. So we're in VFO mode now. Hold it down again. One memory mode is the channel number. One memory mode is the channel frequency. And the third memory mode is the channel name. Of course, you can change the name to anything you want to. Okay, but it'll show you three different memory modes. And then the fourth mode is VFO. So you can just put it in VFO, do whatever you want to there. So it'll show you the channel number, the channel uh, frequency, whatever frequency you're on, and then the name, which is 2M call. It's 2 meter calling frequency, which is the 146.52 frequency which is right there so that's something unique that's to pretty much all the walks on ht is they have those four memory slash vfo modes that are very handy if you want to use them so let's uh let's take this like we did the one yesterday and let's put this on the on the power meter to see what it does but i did want to show you guys how it does have something else you can do is change it you just short press this when you change it to single receiver mode so i'm not sure if that's what he's talking about or if he's talking about something else because again pretty much all your walks on radios do that same thing where you can change it to single receiver if there's someone talking on this frequency and you're getting noise or someone talking on the other frequency you can change it to there you can hit band to select up and down like that and it's very convenient to have if you only want to listen to one channel at the time so we're going to go to BSR SHTF frequency right there. So you can see all these different memory channels. All of his radios from bettersaferadio.com come pre-programmed with a bunch, over 900 memory channels in there. Okay, and you can hit scan. You can get the radio, set it up, maybe set it up on an outside antenna if you have a base antenna at your house. Hit scan and find out which frequencies are actually being used in your area. A lot of times I get questions and the, uh, the, the comment will be, well, I'm getting my first radio. I'm just getting into ham radio. What's, the f what's a good first radio? I always direct people to bettersaferadio.com. These are not the least expensive radios you can get. You can certainly get on Amazon and get a $30, $25, $30 Baofeng. This is going to have a better receiver and more memory capacity than most of your Baofeng radios. But this code plug that comes with this radio is really cool because now you've got all these channels and frequencies that are pre-programmed for you and you don't have to mess with it and you can hit scan and kind of listen around in your area and see which ones are being used for emt fire police band commercial band gmrs mers marine band radio a lot of business band radio stuff in there a lot of uh, mcom stuff in there as well so it's a really cool feature that mark gives for all his radios at bettersaferadio.com okay let's put this on the meter and see what it's doing because this is a five watt version of the radio okay once again we're using the teletron meter from gigaparts and the astron power supply from astron those were donated to me to you be used in videos just like this one. So appreciate those guys supporting the channel. Two meter calling frequency is right there at the top of the menu. You can see that right there. It's channel number 200. Okay. And it's on high power. So we're going to hit transmit. And we're getting about uh, KC5 HWV test. I've got that other radio on two meter. <laughs> we're going into a dummy load, but I've got two radios right here next to me. All right. So about four watts of power right there. And then we're going to go to the... 70 centimeter calling frequency which is on the bottom band right there i've got that selected and we're going to go right there Ooh, five watts a little bit more power four and a half to five watts a little bit more power on the 70 centimeter calling frequency so there you go right there so about four four and a half to five watts of power on both bands on the uv9 delta x-ray radio which is 30 dollars cheaper than the papa x-ray plus that we reviewed yesterday so great two new super heterodyne receiver radios from bettersaferadio.com. The antenna back on that one. And it's really kind of your choice as to which one you want. Is two or three watts going to make a difference? This one's two or three watts more than this one. Is two or three watts going to make a difference? Not really. Not really. The only time you're going to see a big difference in an HT is when you have like a five watt, a true five watt to a true 10 to 12 watt HT difference between five and seven watts or five and eight watts is minuscule okay so it might be a little bit better off if you're more on a budget to get the delta x-ray which is thirty dollars cheaper okay but if you want a couple of extra watts of power and true full duplex this one's true i, I i'm going to double check with him about the delta x-ray because the way he worded some of that i'm not sure if that means it's not true full duplex or not so 
I will put a comment, I will pin a comment to this video and let you know what I find about the single receiver comment that he made to me. But most of your UV9 radios are full duplex and they're great for satellite work. Check out the links in the description below. Once again, huge shout out to Mark. Thank you for allowing me to do these videos during the same week that you're debuting these two brand new models. Always save 7% off of these two models and most everything else on the website with the coupon code of HR2ALL7. Thanks, guys, and we'll catch you next time.